Okay, awesome. So now that you know how to run parallel tests locally on your system, let's talk about the advantages of disadvantages of that. Well, the advantage is obviously, like I mentioned before, is that now you can run tests in parallel. But the question comes to how many tests can you actually run in parallel? Right, if you think about it, each test, you need its own browser. And how many browsers can you actually run at once on your system? Well, that obviously depends on your computing resources power, right? How much RAM you have, how much CPU you have. And for most people, it's a good amount, but how many tests can you actually run 10, 20 browsers at the same time before your computer is completely useless and you can't really use it? And so what happens if you need to run a automated test suite of 500 tests? your computer is basically going to be locked up for multiple hours running all of those tests. Disadvantage number two of running all of your tests locally in parallel is that you actually have to maintain the infrastructure for running those tests. For any of you guys that are a little bit familiar with Selenium WebDriver and just running those tests, sometimes you get into annoying issues where the browser and the Selenium bindings version are not matching up. And so then you're going to get into a bunch of weird errors happening and you have to spend a few hours debugging it and then and when you realize that it's a result of the versions not matching, you start downgrading browsers, upgrading NuGet packages until you finally have it working. Now, that's just only for one machine. Not to mention, you have to maintain the operating system and you have to maintain all the browsers. And if that's just for one machine, imagine, what are you going to do if you have to start utilizing your machine and VMs? Yes, you can utilize VMs in order to spread out all of your automated tests, right? You can start creating VMs and you can start using something called Selenium Grid in order to spread out your parallel testing to a bunch of different VMs. That's the next logical approach from running your tests locally in parallel. However, when you start doing that, now you have to maintain all of those VMs. You have to maintain the browsers on them. You have to maintain the operating systems and all of the updates. You have to maintain all of the NuGet package versions on them as well. So that becomes a job in its own. We actually have a team, an operations team that does that. They manage, I don't know, several hundred VMs and they do that regularly. But it's an entire team that actually does that. But if you're the only one doing that and you're running on VMs, you not only have to do automated functional testing, write tests, do the testing, maintain a framework, you now have to maintain infrastructure for that framework as well. That becomes really inefficient and I doubt that your employer would want to pay you to be maintaining infrastructure as opposed to writing functional tests, right? Because that's what you're actually hired to do. So the next logical step from that and why I don't personally use Selenium Grid is I run my tests in the cloud. That's where a service like Sauce Labs or Browser Stack comes in, where they allow you to run your tests in the cloud and they maintain all of the infrastructure for you. So therefore, you don't need to worry about anything. You just select which browser you want to run on you select which operating system you want to run on, you send the code up to their cloud, and they execute the test for you, they create a new VM, you, they let it run, and then they tear down that VM. And you don't have to worry about a single thing, just running your tests on hundreds of different browsers and OS combinations.